right, guys, Alec Pierce at the ranch with another tip. Might be of some interest, might be of some value to you. I try to make these tips uh, things that will solve a problem. So uh, let's discuss your problem, first of all, okay? This is my, uh, this is our, uh, our well, uh, or our windmill, which is up there spinning away and hooks up to our pump here so we can uh, pump water and look at the windmill and everything else. And that's really pretty and that's basically what it's for. However, we also use this well and the water in it for the, the, the uh, we have a, a hydrant here at the garage for washing the tractor and the bulldozer and stuff like that. Then we have another hydrant connected to it over the barn, 150 feet away, for filling the, uh, the chicken and the, uh, the horse traps and so on. In order to get the water over there, down in the, I think you know this, if you look back at my, uh, at my windmill uh, projects and so on, you look back, you'll see that down in as well, I have a submersible pump. As well as a windmill pump, I have a regular submersible pump, the electric submersible pump. And that pump comes, it comes up one inch pipe, and there's a pressure uh, um, switch right here near the surface, and a pressure gauge, and there's a pressure tank as well. So it doesn't click on and off. You guys that know about uh, submersible pumps you live in the country, you know what I'm talking about. So all that me mechanical and electrical stuff is right here near the top of the well, right here. Uh, now here's the problem. In order to keep the well fresh and not to waste water, you we're trying to save water here, we have both the shed and the garage eaves troughs connected together. And uh, those two very big buildings come together, all the water, and it comes into this pipe here and down in, into the well. Now we can divert that water, but the well is full, we can divert that water away. But that requires us coming out and clicking uh, the diverter here, and sometimes it's a nuisance. So here's the problem. The well gets too full. Now, if, if the well is in good shape, lots of water, and then we get a heavy downpour, maybe overnight, or through the dead matter, this amount of water coming out of those two big roofs will fill this well right up. It'll come right up to the surface, which means that the pressure tank and sometimes even the pressure gauge and, and the, the electrical uh, pressure switch could be underwater. Not good. What I would have to do is run out and turn the diverter valve. Well, maybe I'm not here, or maybe I'm asleep in bed, not going to happen. So I need to have some way of, of limiting the height of the water in the well. Now, this is a dug well, and it uses a 36 inch cement tile. They're called tile, or two, if you like, at 36 inches in diameter and 30 inches deep stacked on top of each other, 50 feet of them, stacked up like this, and, and so that's what actually forms the well. In order to limit the height of the water, uh, um, I decided the easiest way was to simply put a hole in the side of the well. In one of the tiles, I'll just make a hole, an inch and a quarter hole. I'm gonna, I made up this little fitting here. Looks like this, see, pretty simple. And some, it doesn't have to be any, it can be any size. I chose inch and a quarter because I use a lot of inch and a quarter. But most windmills are inch and a quarter. So I'm just going to drill a hole in the side of the well and put this through from the inside. It'll stick out. Then I'll, then I'll just screw it into this, this elbow and, and at the right height. I've measured down to see where I want to be the maximum water height in the well. And then that water will go, I had to drop a little bit so it doesn't just build up right beside the well. And then out it goes. I have another method just to take it away a few inches. And this will sit right there on the edge of the well. So there's the problem and there's the solution. And I'm working on it right now. In fact, uh, uh, Diana, if you can slide over here. Diana's meeting Kevin today. You can see that I've started. Down, and you can actually see the seam way down there where the uh, where the first tile, this first tile, 30 inches down, there's a seam that sits on top of the uh, of the uh, second tile. And I'm going to put this hole at the bottom of this first tile, so it'll be 30 inches down from the surface. And that will make sure the water does not come up too high. So I'm going to get a drill now, my cement drill, inch and a quarter, I'm going to drill a hole in the side of that. It'll make it sound easy, it's, it's a bit of a job. Put that in there, put that uh, pipe assembly. And then uh, put some gravel down in here, fill it back up, put the gravel on top, rake it nice and neat, and uh, that should solve the problem. Anyway, that's what I did with mine. Maybe there's a tip or an idea in there that will help you if you have a similar problem on your ranch. Okay, guys, a couple of pictures are going to be in there. Like Kevin will put in, and we'll talk to you again soon. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Bye-bye.